Hey, what's happening everybody? Thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. This video is going to be about a company based out of Indiana. We're talking about Hydro Beard. Stay tuned. Thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. My name is Scott. This is Beard Times with Scott. Today we are talking about Hydro Beard. The owner of the company is a guy named Dave Cubit or Cubit, C U B I T is how you spell his name. And they're based out of Maryville, Indiana. Merrillville, Indiana. Let me say that correctly. I want to thank Dave, first and foremost, for giving me the opportunity to review your products. I greatly appreciate it. I got a little cover letter here I'm going to read. A little bit of what he sent to me he says he's honored to have the opportunity to review his product and he's a fan of my reviews for quite some time thank you very much I greatly appreciate it he says he founded Sun Lia S U N L I A L L C in, in July of 2019 and began developing hydro beard with a doctor from Pennsylvania the line is plant-based and natural he says they use a fragrance that is skin safe and utilize it well with the guidelines of the IFRA standards, and they are paraffin, phthalate, and sulfate free. Now he sent me quite a bit, and we're gonna go over all of it today. Thank you very much, Dave, once again, for giving me the opportunity. Let's jump into it. He sent me a pack of papers to read, and I read all these, and I know you guys don't wanna go over all the paperwork, right? You wanna get to the nuts and the berries. That's what we're gonna do. Everything you buy from Hydro Beard, comes in this bag. These are a $5 bag, which is not expensive at all. And if you look at it, it's the size of my hand, which means you can put quite a bit in this bag. So when you're on the go, you can put everything you need in this bag. It's definitely worth it. Five bucks for the bag. These next thing I'm going to tell you, I will tell you, I am not a fan of these. As you can see, I have three of them and I did not open these up. I've had bad experiences with metal combs in the past. I'm not telling you that you should not use these combs, but I will not be using these from my history, from other experiences. This is a, I guess you call this a pocket comb. It's $9 on their website. And I will have their website linked in the description box below. $9, it actually has a little bottle op opener on it as well. I'm not saying this is, I'm not saying this isn't a good comb. These are just combs that I'm not interested in because I've had snags in the past and I don't want to experience that. His oils, he sells a one, two, and four ounce in oils. $9, $15, $25, and some change. Not a bad price for those, I gotta tell you. And he sells his balms, $9, $12 for a one ounce or a two ounce in the balm. I think these are pretty good prices. I think the pricing is right on the money because if you look at it, a one ounce, he sells these in these aluminum bottles, which is a first for me. I've never seen anyone make these like this. I know that companies are starting to make them, but this is the first one sent to me. And they are, had the UPC code on there, so I'm imagining they're for retail sale, which is great. And the labeling is just a clear label on top of it here with a black dropper. The ingredients, honestly, I cannot read half of them because they're in their botanical state. And I don't want to butcher those on camera, but everything in the ingredients of the oil and the balm, I have looked them up completely, did my research, because when you see these weird names, kind of freaks you out. You want to say, I'm not putting that stuff on my beard or in my body. Well, nothing in here is bad for you. I can honestly tell you that. I've looked up quite a bit of it. There are some fatty acids that are in this beard oil, but they're not the fatty acids that would hurt you. They're actually good for you. They're actually good for your body and your skin. We do need some of those fatty acids. So if anybody has any objections or complaints, I did some research myself, nothing bad for you. They have some antifungal properties, some of these ingredients. Some of these are emollients, which are good things to emollient. I think I said that properly. They're good for soothing the skin and softening the skin. So that's exactly what we're using it for, correct? Beard oil is for the skin, not just the hair. And he has them in three scents. He has a cedar leather, a sandalwood bourbon, and he has a teak wood. Again, this is the one ounce oil. The two ounce, just the same. Now look at this, ready? The four ounce. I did not open up any of the two, twos or fours. Look at that, a four ounce bottle. No complaints there. I, can't, I cannot complain about that at all. So let's get to the 
and let's get to the oils. This one is the teak wood here. And they're almost like a child proof a little bit, which is good. The, the oils, you can t see they are very yellow and definitely on between the light and the medium and thickness. This teak wood. I'm not the biggest teak wood fan. I cannot lie. But this is a good one. This is almost like a, like a cologne. Teak wood is used a lot in candles and room sprays and things like that of that nature. It's actually kind of a new thing that I'm seeing in bearding products. It's almost like, like a light, subtle cologne. It's not a bad scent at all. The scent lasted for me about... I'd say a good four to six hours because what I did was I was using the oils, then the balms, and then the oils and the balms together. This oil itself was about four to six hours. And the one thing I like about these oils, they go in the beard. They feel really, really good. It may be from the ingredients that are in here that I'm not used to. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. This is a really nice in beard filling beer company. I really like that. This, the teak wood was a keeper for me. The sandalwood bourbon, you guys know that I'm a big fan of the sandalwood bourbon. Coloring is just the same, the same yellow as the previous one. This is almost like a cologne to me. It, it's still good. The sandalwood bourbon is a scent that you can, really can't mess up. You really cannot mess this up. I'm not saying that it's typical, but a lot of the companies that make this, they are kind of the same. And I do like, I do like this scent. This is a two thumbs up for this oil, for that scent. Cedar leather. This is a straight cologne scent. I can I, I can honestly say that. Yeah, this is almost like an aftershave scent to me as well. Very very pleasing. Uh, the sandalwood bourbon one was definitely a six to eight hour scent. This is definitely a six to eight hour scent just for the oils alone. All three of these beard oils. When I put these in my beard, instantly soft softened up the beard and just soaked right in my beard. Really soak these in. No greasiness. Very nice shine. Two thumbs up for these oils today. The beard balms. I only opened up the one ounce beard balms. There is really no hold in these. I'm not complaining about that at all, but take a look. It's almost like it's a very nice conditioning beard butter to me. That's the, that's the take that I get from it. Check this out. Like literally, I'm pushing that in, and this is at room temperature. Cedar, that's cedar leather. That's definitely a keeper. That's the cedar leather one. Here's the sandalwood bourbon one. Again, I'm loving the scents. And they're all pretty much the exact same in the consistency. This, this is a very, it's pretty much like a butter, almost like a cream. But it worked very well in my beard. Like, it, it made it feel soft. The only downfall to it is to me, this to me is not considered a beard balm. I think this is more along the lines of a very thin beard butter. Do I recommend you guys to use, use this? I really do. But if you're looking for hold, this is not a company that you're going to get a hold of any kind. Conditioning factor, and that's what Beard Balm is mainly for, it's definitely worth the money. Again, $8.99 for a one ounce, $9 you might as well say, and ten or $12 for a two ounce. Really, really good products here. I'm really enjoying them. I like the way they feel in my beard. What do I like about them? The one thing I like about them is it's really simple. The labeling, it's not necessarily over the top. It's its plain to me. It's got your clear labels. The in the these aluminum containers, I'm not I'm not used to seeing these. It, it's it's a very different take. But when I look at it, it almost reminds me of they're trying to sell this to a high-end retail store or maybe salons or something of that nature. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But I can definitely see the, this being in those places for sure. Small batch companies and uh, mom and pop shops, probably not. But if they're if they're going for the high out retail, they're definitely going to, in presentation wise, they're definitely going to get that. But would I recommend this company to you guys? Yeah, I would for the fact that it they really worked well in my beard. Like I was using these for nighttime butters instead of using them for the daily beard balm with the hold. I was using these for butters, and I really did enjoy them. Today, I'm going to give the Hydro Beard a solid two thumbs up, four out of five star beer times with Scott rating today. 
And I want to thank David one more time for giving me the opportunity to review these products. I was on the fence on about these for the longest time. I can't lie, when I got them, it's not what I expected. Because when I first thought, I'm like, okay, this is going to be something out of a salon. It's going to be crappy. That was my first impression. I was completely wrong when I actually took the time and used these. And what am I going to do with these? I'm actually not going to keep these because I have way entirely too many products to keep for a while. So I'm definitely going to be passing these off to some of my subscribers and followers here. Um, I don't really have anybody in particular, but I'm going to be passing the, along these to somebody else because I have way too much crap, you guys. I'm sure you guys can see that. But again, two thumbs up, solid four out of five star beer times with Scott rating for Hydro Beer today. And thank you once again, Dave. I greatly appreciate the opportunity. And thank you all very much again for watching. Click the video, give it a thumb like if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram at Beer Times with Scott, and I'll follow you right back. And keep on bearding. See you in the next one.